offer thrown out there. Buster only reporting seven years, $175 million, the offer from the Chicago White Sox. That's a little lower than I expected, Val. I think this number was probably a very sobering day for Manny Machado because I, I think he probably thought the starting point was going to be 300 and now we're hearing 170. I'm Lexi Dott with the MLB.com FastCast. After multiple reports emerged Wednesday indicating a contract offer to Manny Machado by the White Sox was well below the expected market price, the All-Star shortstop's agent, Dan Lozano, released a scathing statement in response. In it, Lozano claimed the reported details of the Sox offer are, quote, inaccurate and reckless, while claiming the press has been manipulated into tampering with free agent negotiations. This is a rebuilding team. This is a team that... Even if they add Machado, probably won't be a playoff team next year, although the AL Central is not a very strong division. And I get the whole, you know, breaking things down and looking for the guys who can play a bunch of different positions and that sort of thing. But it's amazing how more people aren't interested in these sort of players. It's kind of shocking to me. The Rays have found the right-handed bat they were searching for with MLB Network insider Ken Rosenthal reporting free agent outfielder Avicel Garcia is headed to St. Pete. MLB.com's Mark Feinsand reports that the deal is for $3.5 million guaranteed, plus bonuses that can make the deal worth up to $6 million. He was an all-star in 2017, BJ. 330 hitter and then had a down year. Potential's always been there. C.J. Crone leaving. I think Avicel Garcia is a good fit right there in a pitching situation in a DH spot. I don't see him playing the outfield. The Diamondbacks are close to a deal with free agent infielder Wilmer Flores, a source told MLB.com on Wednesday. The 27-year-old will receive a one-year contract with an option for a second season pending a physical. Flores' former team introduced their latest addition to fans on Wednesday as infielder Jed Lowry finalized his two-year $20 million deal with the Mets. The versatile veteran admitted first-year GM Brody Van Wagenen's active offseason helped encourage his move to Queens. It's been an aggressive offseason here, and I think a lot of the moves that led up to, to us, you know, kind of rekindling uh, in the new year helped make this decision easier. Jed would have the ability to play second base, he would have the ability to play third base, and he would be able to play shortstop. I envision him being able to do all three on a semi-regular basis in terms of which position it is, but he's going to be in our lineup virtually every day. For more on these stories and complete hot stove coverage, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.